Katie Price is here. She's just returned from Turkey where she's undergone cosmetic procedures that were so painful <laughs> she fears she would die from the pain. Um, uh, here she is now looking great. I thought I you're going to be like my mum and have a go at me. I'm waiting Why? for it. I'm Why? waiting for it. Well, I'll tell you what, for having an up... Well, we might yeah, get on go to on. that, Katie, if I'm absolutely honest. <laughs> you two haven't met before. Nice Alice to meet you. No, Alice. Yeah, lovely to yeah. Hello. 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 Of course, you know. So, what on... Look, let's start from the beginning. What on earth were you thinking? You're gorgeous. Yeah. Why have more surgery? Right, so, let me retro. I haven't had a full facelift. Right. Now, I have been in the industry since I was 17. I yeah. haven't rehearsed what I'm saying, but everyone always says the same thing. And what I say to them, I broke my feet last year. We'll start with the body first. I broke my feet last year, and before that, I used to like going running with my music in to keep mm. fit, ride mm. the horses. So, you broke your feet? Both of them, badly. They got right. screwed. I can never run again. OK. So, it changed my life. I was in a wheelchair for yeah, yeah. basically eight months, had to learn to walk again. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then from being in the wheelchair, I've put, I've put on loads of weight. Mm. And for me, I'm not used to that, unless I'm pregnant. Um, so I was getting frustrated, because all I wanted to do is even, even walk in the dog, I have to go on the bike, because it, it, I can't do it. Mm. Um, so I was putting on weight, and I'm like, this just isn't me, and I hated it, my clothes didn't fit. And then I took my extensions out, thinking, no, you know, I let myself breathe. And then I'd notice my face, and then you just start noticing things. So you now, felt... That you weren't looking how you wanted. No, I wasn't. And how you were used to looking. But I suppose there was an alternative to losing weight than yeah. having liposuction. I tried, there? I tried healthy eating, it just wasn't shifting. So I thought, do you know what? Because I do want a baby when it's weird, because people would normally have surgery after they've had a baby. Because you're getting married again. Ma I will be getting married you're getting again. married again. But yeah. I do want more children. Right. But the weight on my feet, it does make a difference. Anyway, so I've had. Full body lipo. Yeah. And I had some of my own fat. I didn't have bum implants. Some of my own fat put in my bum. And now my mum says, oh, my God, your bum looks like a shelf now. We're going to put all the glasses on there now. I'm like, whatever, <laughs> Mum. He said it sticks out, looks like a shelf. I'm like, Mum, I'm still swollen. Oh, it looks ridiculous. All right, Mum. But you had work done to your face For my too. face. Now, this is the thing. So, with my face, people got to remember, I am 43. Through my career... I didn't do my face, only my boobs. And there was no filter, it was all natural. So you're knackered. I've had five kids, I do get knackered. And it's like a car. You have an MOT, if you get a scratch or a dent on your car, you fix it. And that's how I feel with my body. I'm not trying to look younger. And I definitely don't want to have that alien look. You know when you, you could see yeah. some people have gone over the top and they look like freaks? Well, I remember Eve Pollard, who used to be my boss at the Sunday Mirror, she once said, the thing about women and plastic surgery is if you've just got to accept when you get old, you either look old or you look weird. Yeah, and I don't want that. So, to me, it's more fresh. Now, when I went to Turkey, I've been to the place before Comfort Zone before, um, and you do have to research, and I filmed it for my YouTube, mm. the real insight of before surgery and the mo in, in surgery and the moment you come out of surgery to sort of educate people that having surgery isn't fun and games, it is painful and it's irreversible. And then the mistakes some people do, they start the surgery and then obviously everyone's got imperfections they see. I could go over the top, but I don't want to look like a freak. But so nearly, what I nearly but, dying but, but, is a bit... But, I mean, you, you I know, felt like I was going to die when I come up. But, but I did... you, you were offered... Sorry, not to, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but, you know... You, it's putting your life at risk. You want to show people that, yeah. that they do that. But you, you were encouraged to have a blood transfusion. I mean, it, it was very serious. Is that because it went wrong? Or is that because no. that's what happened? So believe it or not, I, when I woke up, I had a line in my groin. I've never had that before. Because my veins, that's why I hate needles. Anyone who knows have watched them before, I've got small veins and they run. So I went to sleep with a cannula here. I woke up and I had, like, eight marks all over where they tried to put a cannula in. And then it was in here and I thought... Kate, this isn't good. And I was so weak, and they said having a blood transfusion, and I said, no, no, because when I've had babies before, I've been offered it again, mm. but I'd rather eat food, have iron tablets, do it that way. But the, um, the thing is, I didn't know you at zero degrees when you're put to sleep, mm. so that explains why when I wake up, I'm so cold, I'm so sore. I mean, it really is sore. Is like. That what there's the, no the fun and games with yeah, it. Yeah, we reduce the temperature to reduce risk of infection. Mm. Right. Yeah, and, and, and 
because I didn't know that till this time, because mm. I said to him, please make sure you've got the heat on me when I wake up, because mm. I'm always cold. They said, because your body's at zero temperature and you're there for a few hours. God, so you're anyway, not there. But with my face, because I'm sure everyone will want to know what I've done to my face, <laughs> I still haven't healed. So if you, if you zoom in, a camera wants to zoom in, you'll probably see under here, I've still got um, stitches. Now, this is called a lip lift. Now, I've tried fillers in my lips and I look like a duck. Every time I do, I look like a duck like that. And I hate that look. Right. You know, you see some girls and their lips are like that and it's dreadful. Mm -hmm. I've been there, done it, tried it, don't like it. I had them dissolved. So now, the lip lift is... Yeah, cut there, so it just lifts a little bit there. I they know I'm mad. cut you there. They I'm, cut like, you there. I'm like a plastic surgeon myself explaining it. So it just lifts it a bit there. Is but it, it's is still it an hidden. addiction? Right, I, this is another thing. I'm not addicted but it's out there. And if I feel like I'm fresh in it, I will. If people want to say I've got body dysmorphia from that, just say it. Even my mum says it. You need to see somebody. You're not normal in the head, are you, Kate? Like, that's what my mum says. She I'm sounds like, like a very mum, lovely mum. If you could have your face done, you would, but you can't because you're terminally ill at the moment. I said, so don't have a go at me. You used to have Botox, this and that. Well, well, she goes to me. But, um, yeah, anyway... All right, so, look, some people watching will be thinking we're in the middle of a <laughs> pandemic. You yes. Know, you chose to go to Turkey in June to have this operation. You yeah. were concerned about COVID when you went there, but you still chose to go and do it. You yes. mentioned your poor mum has got hugely serious yeah. problems. Yeah, she's with in the hospital health. today. Good luck, mum. Yeah. yeah. And she and you, you know, so rather than being with your mum, staying home, staying safe, focus on the family, focusing on the new love in your life, put your marriage, you chose yeah. to go to Turkey, which travel could have had risk. Yeah. Um, instead, and people would say that's putting the surgery and the way you look at a higher priority than all those other things. Absolutely, they said. I went to a red country, but at the same time, I'm working, I'm doing my YouTube. I've had two COVID jabs, um, done mm. all my PCR tests. There's a good company called Cured out there. Who do, you have to mm. follow the protocol. You can't be silly. So I knew by going to a red uh, country, I'd literally be in a hospital. I wasn't mixing with anyone else. Mm. It was literally hospital. Then we flew to an amber country, stayed in a villa in the middle of the hills, away from everyone. Mm. We made sure all our shopping was there and then came home. We did not... Mm. We didn't muck about at all with it. And you mm. can't... It's serious, you know. Hard so you took it seriously and, and, and researched... By... So to pick up, you know... Um, and it is hard through... work to do the red country. You can't, like... It is serious. You, you have know. to take it seriously, and, and rightly so. And I okay. wouldn't have done it if I hadn't had two jabs, by the way, no. either. I mean, I mean, uh, he, he, Katie's always been incredibly open and honest. <laughs> take, haven't you? You have. No, no, I have. And take it as yeah. you see it, and 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 in a way, there's youngsters that will look at her, and she is showing the brutality rather than just the finished product. And not to do it in your twenties. Yeah. So, like, but, but it's still a risk. It, it is a risk. I think it's important that you're open about it. I think it's great that yeah. you're showing people what the reality of cosmetic surgery is. There's lots of different reasons people will have cosmetic surgery uh, mm. and, and it has to be done safely, which I'm yeah. glad you've yeah. talked about today. But travelling to a red country, Katie, I'm not quite sure whether I would, I would say that's a good idea for cosmetic surgery. So I don't think there was anyone nearer who was good because the thing is, if they're messing with your face. Yeah. I'm, I'm this is the truth. So I went to London saw two surgeons, they were going to do a brow lift on me and a lift here. And that's what I wanted. When I went to Turkey, the surgeon said, I'm not doing your brow lift because there's not enough to lift and I'm not yeah. doing there. You don't need that for 10 years. So what I had in the end was a, the cat eye and I used to have a scar there and he's just done that. Mm. So I haven't had a full facelift. But, but I think yeah. his point might be... Yeah. That you Why would waited. I travel to Red? My argument would be to wait. The wait. pandemic's yes. over or... But I've got work in the summer. Yeah. I've got, like, the documentary, um, mm. they're doing my... So, I've got work. So, for me, it's my work. I'm not doing it to be silly. Yeah, I could have mm. waited till after, <laughs> but because I'm fully booked through the work and I want to feel good on camera... Yeah. Well, you're looking, me, all, you're like... looking, you're looking you all right. You look, you look great. Right. Oh, they go on, have a go. All, yeah, I'm not having a go. You're right. With, all, <laughs> right. <laughs> with all due respect, Katie, yeah. and, I, and I do love you, honestly, I do, yeah. I, I would say, you know, we've got to prioritise the health and lives of everyone else around us, like we've all been That's doing. That's why I did it And I'm safely. sure you can do your work without having this done, perhaps. I know, but we're all different, aren't we? I know, I know. But, but I, I, am, I am glad for your honesty with it all. No, and by the way, people mm. think I'm obsessed with surgery mm -hmm. because I'm so open about it. And I'm telling you now, there's mm. so many people out there you see on the mm. TV mm. or whatever who have had so much work done, but they're like, I'm natural. Mm. 
I love showing people what I've had done because I like them to know the ins and outs, the mm. pain, the recovery. And, you know, I had this done on the 17th of June. If you look at the pictures, they look horrific. Mm. But here I am now. Time is a healer. Mm. I'm happy. I'm going to enjoy this summer. But everyone should still keep safe. Very Slap my wrist for going to Amber Country. I mean, Red Country, but mm. I did it safely and I've had two jabs. Katie, it's always <laughs> so refreshing to Lovely talk to, to you. Here. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being my parents and having a me. <laughs> yeah. We've we only got your best interest at home. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Does that sound like a Oh, I love it. Oh, it's good to see you. It's good Thank to you see so you well, much. not some of the reports you. that said.